Hello, this is Kunk for Ballet Dancer, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to make a pair of wings like I did in Fragile Dream for the soldier. And there was a simpler pair in A Woman's Touch, but it's all the same technique. First, you want to open up your Source Filmmaker and start a new project. And I loaded up Black Void as the map. You can do whatever you want. And there are three important parts to the uh, animation that we're about to make, and that is the model that you want to give the wings to. So I'm just going to do a shirtless sniper just for the heck of it. And the models that will make up the wing feathers and the crow. Now the crow is the integral part of it. You can't do this without the crow. So this crow is from Half-Life 2. Um, I like it because of the bones that are included in the wing and the particular bones that we're going to be paying attention to are the phalanges 1, 2, and 3 in each wing as well as the two tail bones. Here I'm highlighting them for you so you can see. <clears throat> so now what, you're, what I'm going to do is uh, choose the model that I want to use as the upper primary flight feathers and I like the glass because there are a variety of sizes and shapes and um, you can do whatever um, I chose fishes for a woman's touch <laughs> but anything long and flat will work so here I'm I'm aligning the corner of it with the bone with the uh, phalanges 3 bone on the right wing, left wing, sorry. And now I'm importing the sniper that I'm going to use. Not that one, that's the HWM one. There's my sexy sniper with his tattoos. And then I'm going to line him up with the crow so that the crow is up against his spine. Don't worry, we can always readjust the positions of them later, and it's going to be tedious and annoying, but you have to do it. So now I'm going to duplicate this shard of glass that I have out here. Well, well actually first, <laughs> it looks like I'm going to take the clavicle bone of this crow and kind of pull them out a little bit. That's just so we can see where the wings are in relation to the sniper's shoulders. Okay, now I start duplicating the feathers and I'm going to make three shards of glass to make the upper primary flight feathers and eventually I will bone merge them to uh, the left phalanges three bone on the crow's wing. And then I'm going to group them together for organization. Call it wings underscore uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, you get it. Anyway. <laughs> um, now I'm making the bones, the glass that would be attached to phalanges two. And then I'm going to bone merge everything, of course. Okay, and do, do make sure that um, they are bone merged to the static underscore prop of the glass and not the, um, not the root, okay? I'm stretching out the crow's wings, again just for reference and alignment. Uh, it doesn't matter what we do right now because we're going to import a sequence later, so it's really all just for reference. Now I'm going to take another shard model and uh, bone merge them to, well we're not bone merging yet, but <laughs> these are supposed to be the secondary flight feathers that would be on the wing. And then now I'm going to bone merge the phalanges one to these smaller feathers. And then of course we group them all together, that way we can keep it all nice and tidy. I hate having stray models in my in my sidebar thing, menu, whatever, I don't know why you call it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to duplicate 
the upper primary flight feathers that were bone merged to phalanges 3 and bring them over to the other side. And we're going to do some adjustments just to make sure that they're kind of aligned. Is that ready? That's my bird. My kamikaze's been kamikaze's been biting the mic in case you haven't heard those random knocks and things. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so let's just align these, get them all organized. Yeah. Of course, Source One Maker always has to give me a warning. Hey, you're about to copy a bone merge thing. All right, so there's now I'm copying the feathers that were attached to phalanges too. Doing the same thing, making sure that they're all aligned. And I'm gonna bone merge them as well, and also group them into their own little group. Now I'm copying the secondary flight feathers that would be bone merged to phalanges 1, making sure they're all aligned and things. Alignment is key, although we're most likely going to lose your the alignment, so it really is a matter of trial and error. And here I'm testing the crow by importing the flight sequence and obviously it looks like crap, it looks like scissors or something. <laughs> but don't worry, we will get to that eventually. Now I'm dropping down the tail so that we can start working on the tail feathers. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing the song. <laughs> Alright, uh, here comes the feather and I'm going to make three of three on each side. Sorry about the subliminal corded I mean, G-Man. <laughs> yeah. Just listening to music. So we're going to mode merge these to tail underscore L. This will be the left side of the wing, of the, of the <laughs> tail, sorry. And we put them in their own group. And then we're going to copy them and flip them over to the other side. Of course, you got to align them, make sure it's all straight. And then we'll burn, bone merge these to um, tail underscore right. Oh god, I have such a bad head. Looks pretty good, but now the hard part's coming up in which we have to actually do the animating now. Um, I imported the flight sequence uh, for the crow, which is like, I think it's called Fly01. Now we're going to make, um, we're going to make keyframes starting from when the feathers are fully open and going down to to right before it would do it again. So we're <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but we're trying to make a looped trying to make a loop animation here by copying the keyframes. So here I have three four sets of keyframes now. So the bird flaps about four times. And you want to space it out so that so that the whole the single sequence would take up about one and a half seconds or I'm sorry um, sorry <laughs> like about 0.8 seconds you can me you can measure it on the graph editor to know exactly how long each cycle takes it's really late at night so I'm really apologizing for stumbling over my words now we have our keyframes in, but the <laughs> the glass just goes right into each other. It looks awful. So now we're going to have to play around with um, lining up these wings and lots of positioning and repositioning. Now I advise doing each bone in its mirror bone at a time. That way you don't get confused or lost. Now. Do note that 
when I made Fragile Dream, it was my third try doing the animation. I had deleted it and restarted from scratch three times. Well, twice. The third time was a success. It was quite a lot of effort trying to get it to really line up with each other and not cut into the model. As you can see, the glass is cutting right into Sniper's body and we have to just play around and see which is the best position for the wings. There are several bones that you should look at. One is the, I'm guessing, ulna. One is the clavicle. Um, and once you get those aligned, we have to we have to also do the phalanges too. Once you kind of get them all lined up, we will eventually have to go into the graph editor and do individual frames and then copy those fixed frames into other um, duplicate frames of the other cycles. It's looking better, but it still looks like crap. Um, by the end of this tutorial, it's not really going to look all that great, but like I said, it takes time and a couple different tries to get it right. Uh, I'm too lazy to make a perfect cycle, and I'm not going to copy it from the other cycle. This is a tutorial. We're making it by hand, damn it. Okay. Um, kamikaze. <laughs> So here I am adjusting the actual frames in within the graph editor where, where the uh, phalanges 3 cuts into Sniper's neck and shoulder and then I'm pushing him back. Then I have to find the duplicate frames elsewhere and copy and paste over them. It's pretty tedious and annoying but you gotta do it. We're just ignoring the tail for the moment. Okay, now we're working on the phalanges one. Those are pretty awful. And I realize now I gotta move the clavicles over. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty awful. That's okay. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. I'm totally just not. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go into the graph editor and adjust them by hand. And then we're going to copy and paste the fixed frames to the copied, the duplicate frames in the other cycles. Annoying, but you gotta do it. I hate doing this myself. I don't know if I'll ever do a flying soldier again. <laughs> I'm glad that I got that over with. And so the sniper is looking pretty good, even though I'm kind of sad that the glass is cutting into his body like that. It does seem kind of cruel. <laughs> well, it's getting there. It's uh, looking better with each step that we take. I'm not sure if I want to take any more effort on the wings, so we'll just leave the wings like that for now. Right now I'm doing the tail because it's kind of lopsided. I don't know how it got lopsided, but we're just going to fix it. <sighs> yeah, it's almost there. <coughs> And then right now I'm just deleting the ladder frames because I don't like those. And, oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So I deleted the ladder frames and I import and I copied the first frames and put them over to the other side. And then it looks like our crow is doing good. So I'm just going to import this quick sequence with the, the sniper just to see how it looks with this new set of wings. And here's some pretty lights and stuff. Heavenly lights. Yes. 
heavenly lights. And then maybe like red lights, red lights of hell. <laughs> he says, yes, I conquer the whole world. Camera change just for the heck of it. And yeah, that's my tutorial.